I get the question all the time, how do I grow strawberries in the tower garden? So we buy the actual cuttings of the strawberries, the roots cuttings here, and we actually rinse them three times in water because we want to get all the dirt, all the sand off them. When we get all the dirt and sand off them, then we need to sterilize those roots. So we sterilize those roots, that way we don't introduce any type of soil pathogens into our tower. And then we cut the rock wool to, uh, apart in half, and then we band them together, and this is going to become a beautiful seedling here that you'll be able to plug right into your tower. And those of us that really are strawberry fanatics will have our own tower, just a complete tower of strawberries. That's great because if you do that, then you can control the water into the whole tower. Strawberry seedlings don't like to be super wet. So in a typical tower, if you're running at 15 on, 15 off, these seedlings actually start to rot in the crown. So if you are just going to grow a few uh, plants on your tower, put them at the top so they get a lot more airflow, they dry out more. If you're going to have a whole tower of strawberries, just have it 15 on, minutes on, two hours off, and check to see if it's not super saturated. If it isn't, that's what you can do. It's a great way to grow super nutrient-dense strawberries with no herbicides, fungicides, and pesticides.